Hi, this is Valerie Leonard. I am your instructor for Discovering Entrepreneurship this spring semester 2019. We're doing this video lecture because we're obviously not able to meet today, but given the amount of content in this course, I really, really want to make sure that we don't fall behind. So I think it necessary to do this video lecture. The content from this lecture is from bizlaunchuniversity.com, developed by David R. Ron. And just as a reminder, if you have not yet done so, please go to bizlaunchuniversity.com, set up an account. You won't be able to do your homework without setting up an account. All right. As you can see, the agenda for this video is the same agenda that we would have followed had we been in class. We will start off with the review of highlights of lesson one. And because we're not in person, we can't um, do a face-to-face Q&A regarding lesson one, but I do encourage you to send me any questions by email as it relates to lesson one, lesson two, or lesson three. My email address is V, as in violin, Leonard, L-E-O-N-A-R-D, at roosevelt.edu, or you can send it to me at Valerie, F, as in Frank, Leonard, at nonprofitutopia.com. So after we talk about the startups and the Lean Canvas and Value Proposition, then we would have opened it up for a lab since we're not meeting um, face to face. I encourage you to do the lean canvas and value proposition exercises that are in each of the lessons. You'll find those at the end of lesson two and the end of lesson three. And if you've not done your homework for lesson one, please make sure you do it if it's not into me today by 11.59, then I will take off 25% uh, of the points. So let's talk about highlights from last week, which was week one. So we started off last week with an overview of the syllabus. We did a review of one of the PowerPoint presentations from the introductory chapter and a walkthrough of the Lean Business Canvas on the Canvanizer website. In fact, I sent you a sample of that work that we were doing. That was for demonstration purposes only, just to give you a sense for what the Lean Canvas was like. Unfortunately, we weren't able to navigate the bizlaunchuniversity.com website because I was unable to access it, but those problems have now been resolved. If you have not yet done so, please go to bizlaunchuniversity.com and create an account and start to do the lessons and the homework. So this is what the front page looks like. You want to, once you go in and create an account, you want to go on to the courses tab and then you'll get a drop down menu. And our class is new venture creation, the very first one. So you click on that and this is what the top of the screen will look like. So you've got new venture creation. And then in this area is a list of all of the lessons and then under course navigation this is a list of the lessons as well so you click on to these and you'll only be able to get access to the first one and you won't be able to go to the next one until you finish the first so once you finish each lesson you will see a check mark to indicate that you are done with that lesson, but you can't go forward to the next one without completing the one prior. So here's a full list of the lessons. We'll start off with the introduction to new venture creation. We'll then have lean startup and then lesson number three, lean canvas and value proposition. That's what we're going to cover in this lecture, but as you can see, the course is much more 
complex than that. After that, next week, we will start on business model testing and customer development. We'll be looking after that at creating your MVP, which is your minimal value proposition. We'll be looking at domain names and business emails. And again, these are not all going to be covered next week, but this is for the entire course. After that, we will be looking into introduction to WordPress so you can learn how to build your website. Then we'll be looking at the introduction to Biz Launch Builder, which is another portion of um, developing your website. And after that, we'll be looking at the advanced Biz Launch Builder. And after that, you know, after we get an overview of how to use WordPress, Biz Launch Builder, we will actually design our own websites. And you will learn how to do e commerce on your website, how to do web analytics for WordPress, you'll learn marketing strategies, social media strategies, and then what we call SEO or search engine optimization to increase your chances of being found. So those are the steps that we're going to be going through from now until the middle of May. So let's talk about the course learning objectives. These are the objectives for the entire course. So they go beyond today's lecture and are true for the entire 15 weeks of the course. First of all, by the time you get done, you should understand the lean startup approach, and we will be going over that in the early parts. Um, you will learn ideation approaches to developing a business idea. That's also in today's lesson. You will learn to use the lean canvas approach to modeling your business. You will also learn how to write a clear value proposition and test its efficacy with potential customers. So we'll be working on these first four objectives today and next week. You will also set up your domain name and business emails. You will learn how to formulate strategic content materials to add to your website. You will learn how to design and build your business website using WordPress and Biz Launch Builder tools. You will learn how to create your minimal viable product before launching. That will also help you to know whether or not this is a good idea or not without spending too much money. You will learn how to construct a strategic marketing approach. You'll also learn how to devise and implement a product launch plan. And then finally, you will choose and measure important e-business metrics using web analytics tools. So once you go into introduction to new venture creation, this is our course, um, new venture creation. The first tab is introduction to new venture creation. So this is basically a welcome message and it gives you an overview of what the course is all about. And basically this course provides a great way to test a business idea quickly and inexpensively. If your idea works, you're up and running and will have a very successful business. One of the first things we need for you to do is to sign up on to the Facebook page and if you go into the course and you click onto the Facebook community link right here, that will take you into their Facebook community and you will be in the community of other people who are taking the course who are at various stages of launching. And one of the great outcomes of this course is that once you learn how to work through this process, you can see that the process is repeatable over and over again which allows you to quickly test as many ideas as you want. And we've set this course up as a series of readings, videos, and assignments. And assignments may be a combination of tasks, or they may only have one task. So please take notes as you go through the readings and videos, and that will better prepare you for the assignments. 
please see me, your instructor, for quizzes. And I will be giving quizzes from time to time. But my first goal for you is to get through lessons one through three. And as you can see, you know, once you get through the summary, there's a readings tab, there's a tab for the video, and there's a tab for the assignment. And once you get through all three of these phases, then you can go on to the next lesson, which will be for us Lean Startup. So here's what it looks like once you click onto the reading tab. As you can see, reading is highlighted here. So as it relates to this course, this reading describes the following. Why this course is valuable for students, what the course architecture is like, an overview of the topics, and a description of the process. So here is an introductory video. We went through this last week, but I have a feeling you probably need to review that again. So now we're under the video tab. And there are two videos in this lesson. The first video is a course overview, and this gives you an overview of the course as well as the tools you'll be learning so you get an idea of what you're getting into before you get into it. And then the second video is the login and navigation, and this will give you an overview of how you log in and navigate the course itself. Okay, this is what you see when you click on to the video tab. As you can see, there are two videos in this lesson. The first one is a course overview, and this provides an overview of the course as well as the tools you'll be learning. And you'll also see the login and navigation set of videos, and this will provide an overview of how you log in and navigate around the site. So this is the introductory video that we showed last week in class. And the second video explains the login process as well as how to navigate around the online course. Next, we want to talk about ideation. There is an exercise that you need to do. And basically, what you're going to do is find an area in your life that can turn into a potential business and explore. Then you'll be looking for intimate knowledge of various microcosms in the world where you may have skills. And then you'll be looking at the fact that your skills can actually demonstrate passion because we tend to do those things very well that we really, really care about. And passion can lead to profits. So there is a guide in Microsoft Word that you can download and then using that guide, you can fill in the details below for each item. So there is an exercise as well as a guide for you to complete. Our second lesson is on startup, and that would have been today's lesson, but it's still today's lesson because we are going through this virtually. So this lesson briefly describes the changes that have occurred in teaching and learning entrepreneurship. Historically, there's been a focus on developing feasibility studies and business plans. However, more recently, the Lean Startup methodology has become popular. The key to the Lean approach is to build a simpler plan called a Business Model Canvas or Lean Canvas as a starting point. And from there, we identify the assumptions inherent in the canvas and then focus on working with customers to get a feel for how well the assumptions in the business model are actually supported. So the learning objectives for lesson two are, first of all, you want to understand the difference between the business plan and the lean startup approach. And you want to recognize how this difference impacts students studying entrepreneurship and instructors teaching entrepreneurship. The third objective is to know two good examples of pivots. And then finally, you want to be able to comprehend dynamic equity splits and why they're considered better than traditional equity splits. So 
we've got six topics that we'll be discussing. And again, this this video is no substitute for doing the work. I couldn't get all of that content into this video. So you must go to the video, I'm sorry, to go to the website, Biz Launch University Lesson 2, in order to do the work. So the six topics are overview and evolution and revolution in entrepreneurship, learning why lean changes everything, Groupon, product hunt, the slicing pie deck, and intellectual property. The reading tab contains the above six articles that we just talked about, and the video tab contains a Mike Moyer slicing pie YouTube video, and then the assignment tab contains a slicing pie exercise. And after you complete the assignment, mark the assignment done and make sure that you email the assignment to me. My email address again is vleonard at roosevelt.edu or Valerie F. Leonard at nonprofitutopia.com. So in summary, this is what your assignment is. One, you want to review the slicing pie presentation slides that will be found under the assignment tab. Two, you want to develop a slicing pie agreement using the slicing pie agreement form for your business project. Most individuals and teams will only need the slicing pie team agreement form. You should refer back to the instructional materials for help in developing your custom policies in your slicing pie agreement. If you have a more established, longer running project, you may benefit from using the slicing pie retrofit guide and Excel spreadsheet tool. Because the retrofit guide and spreadsheet can be fairly complicated, please contact Biz Launch University prior to embarking on this process and make sure you keep me in the loop and mark this assignment as complete when you're done. So our third lesson is the Lean Canvas and Value Proposition. So this lesson introduces you to the idea of developing a value proposition for your business and then using the Lean Startup Canvas approach to modeling your business. The Lean Startup Canvas is a better alternative for entrepreneurs developing a business model. And this is because it contains elements for problem and solution, which are not covered in the traditional business model canvas. The traditional business model canvas was designed originally for large corporations and many feel it's best suited for that environment. The Lean Startup Canvas was designed by Ash Moria. So the learning objectives for lesson three are fourfold. Number one, you wanna understand how to construct a value proposition for your business. Number two, when you're done, you should understand how to think about the concept of an unfair advantage for your business. Number three, you should draft the lean startup canvas for your business. And number four, identify the assumptions in your lean startup Canvas and devise tests for the assumptions. The reading tab contains a PowerPoint that takes you through the process of developing your first version of a value proposition. The other two readings serve as a guide for filling out your lean canvas and touch on an unfair advantage and other relevant topics. The video tab includes one video and the video shows how to fill out the lean startup canvas and the assignment tab contains an exercise for you to implement these ideas and fill out a lean startup canvas for your business idea. So this is what we'll see once we click on to the reading tab and you'll get the PowerPoint presentation, which is basically sharing with you how to design your unique value proposition 
After that, you'll see a reading that is basically a guide to filling out your lean canvas and it includes the important topics such as unique value proposition, unfair competitive advantage, cost structure, customer segments, channels, and key activities. Finally, also under the reading tab, you'll see information on how to fill out your lean canvas and more on how to think about your unfair advantage. When you go to the video tab, you will see one video and this is a great example of filling out the lean canvas. Plus it's short and it's right to the point. I'm sorry, you'll see two. So after that, you need to watch the second video on how to fill out the lean canvas. So you wanna look at both videos before you actually start on your lean canvas. And then you wanna use the lean canvas template, which is also attached in the assignment to fill out one of your, you know, one for your business ideas. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, we want to talk about the Lean Business Canvas. Now you'll have to complete this before Sunday at 11.59 and I suggest that you not wait till the last minute. You should give me an email if you have any questions. You will see this template in your handouts and you download this template and you complete it. This first section talks about the problem. So you're going to list the three top problems that your product or service is going to solve. And then under the solutions, you will actually talk about the, the solutions in terms of the features, the features that you will offer that will address these three problems. After that, you will list the key activities that you will use to retain your customers and drive revenue. And then here you will describe your unique value proposition. And that's that single clear compelling message that states why you're different and why your product or service is worth buying. In this section, we'll talk about the unfair advantage. And that's that thing that can't easily be replicated, copied, or bought by your competitors. And then here we'll talk about channels. and. Those are the specific um, places that you will, in fact, reach your customers and convince them to buy from you. And then we'll describe the customer segments here. And in that way, you will be describing the customers based on their needs, their attributes, et cetera. And there may be more than one segment. So it's important to consider, you know, whether or not you're trying to reach um, various segments and how you're going to reach them differently. Your various segments will not um, be reached in the same channels. And then here we'll talk about the cost structure and we're looking at your customer acquisition costs. So when we talk about customer acquisition costs, those are those costs that you incur in order to actually get get a client. So those marketing costs. We'll talk about the cost of distribution, uh, the cost of your infrastructure, and the cost of the people that you need to hire. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, finally, we'll talk about various revenue streams. So how are you going to generate revenue? Will it be through subscriptions? Will it be through ads, um, premium features, through an online community? through training, seminars, and who knows, there may be other revenue streams that you may have that are not listed here. So finally, if you have any questions regarding these assignments, email me as soon as possible at vleonard at roosevelt.edu. You can also email me at Valerie F, as in Frank, Leonard at nonprofitutopia.com. Your homework for lessons two and three are due on Sunday, February 3rd, 2019 at 11.59 p.m. These assignments will be used as the basis for next Wednesday's lab assignments. If you have not yet done so, turn in uh, the first assignment tonight 
you can turn it in tonight without being penalized. Otherwise, if it's late, you will lose 25% of the points. Alrighty, again, if you have any questions, email me at vleonard at roosevelt.edu or Valerie F. Leonard at nonprofitutopia.com. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and I hope to see you on next Wednesday at, <clears throat> excuse me, next Wednesday at 2 o'clock. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, please, please, please do not hesitate to email me. Take care. Bye-bye.